Hi second grade, this is Emily, and today for Natural Science, we're going to be talking about tools and machines. So take a look at this picture and see which tools and machines you can see. Over here, it looks like we have some type of ramp. This is a very old-fashioned bicycle. Here we have an old-fashioned plow, an old telephone, and a radio. Let's learn more about tools and machines. Simple machines. We use machines every day at home and in the classroom. Machines make work easier and they can help us move objects. Machines can help us lift, push, and pull things. Simple machines have one or two parts. A wheel and axle, a lever, a pulley, a wedge, a screw, and an inclined plane are all simple machines. So all of these machines have one or two parts. The pulley uses this little wheel and a string to pull objects up. A wheel and axle is this wheel here and the axle holds it in the center. An inclined plane helps us move things up or down from one location to another. A lever or lever is like a wedge here and a board. So over here you see the wedge, which is just this triangle piece. And the lever or lever takes a board and puts it on top of the wedge. So it moves things up and down. And a screw, you turn to screw into the wall. These are all simple machines with one or two parts. Complex machines are machines that have more than two parts. So simple machines can work together to make more complex machines. Complex machines have more than two parts. They are combinations of simple machines. So these are some examples of complex machines. A computer, a car, and a washing machine are complex machines. Complex machines make difficult or dangerous tasks, tasks easier. They do things that people can't do. A computer, a car, and a washing machine are complex machines. So the computer can compute or transfer or translate information faster than a human, in many cases. A car can get people places faster than humans, like walking or riding a bike, the car is faster. And the washing machine washes clothes faster and maybe more efficiently than humans. So they all make life and work a bit easier. A discovery means finding something that already exists, but nobody has found before. Fire, petroleum, and potatoes are all discoveries. So these are all things that existed in the world, but people didn't know about them until one day someone found them. For example, a farmer was working in his field one day and he dug up a potato. He didn't create the potato, but he found it. So a discovery is when you find something that's already there. An invention, however, is creating something new. A wheel and plow are inventions. Discoveries and inventions help people because they make life easier. So these are all inventions. By putting simple machines and complex machines together to create something that didn't exist before. They are inventions or something new. So the microscope helps people see things close up. A wheel helps vehicles move more smoothly and faster. A plow prepares the field for plants and for seeds. A radio transmits sound and a television transmits sound and picture or sound and images. So these are inventions or creations of something new. Machines at work. We need tools and machines at work and at home. 
Different people need different tools and machines to do their job. A firefighter needs a hose. A cook needs a knife. A painter needs a brush. And a carpenter needs a saw. So the saw, the hose, the knife, and the brush are all tools and machines that help people do their jobs. Tools and machines make life and work easier. We need them, for example, for farming and fishing. For farming, we use rakes, sickles, and tractors. And fi for fishing, we use boats, fishing rods, anchors, and nets. These are all machines that help make life and work easier. We also use computers, televisions, and radios for communication, and lorries, planes, and trains for transport. So communication is transmitting a message from one person to another. So to do that, we can use computers, or we can use telephones or cell phones. Those are forms of communication machines. There's also transport machines, like airplanes, lorries, and bicycles. These help people or things move from one place to another. These are transport machines. Okay, that's everything we need to know about inventions and machines. If you have any questions, you can look back at all the slides. Talk to you soon. Bye.